Now we're talking about Laplace transform. Laplace transform provides engineer with a powerful tool for analyzing process control system. The Laplace transform of f of t is equal to f of s infinite to zero is f of t e raised to negative s t d t. Where the Laplace transform of a times f1 of t is plus b f f of t is equal to a Laplace transform of f of 1 t plus b Laplace transform of f of t t. Constant. Laplace transform for function equals to a constant. Here is the example. Laplace transform of constants is equal to integral of infinite to zero. C e raised to negative s t d t is equal to negative c over s e raised to negative s t infinite to zero is equal to c over s. Step of magnitude of c at t is equal to zero. Is equal to f of t is equal to c u of t with u of t where zero to what at t is equal to zero for t greater than zero. For the Laplace of transform of c of u t is equal to c of Laplace transform of u t is equal to c. The integral of infinite to zero is e negative s t d d t is equal to c s t. Exponential for f of t of e raised to negative a t, the Laplace transform of e a raised to a t is equal to integral of infinite to zero e raised to a t times e raised to negative s t d t is equal to one over a minus a s e raised to negative s minus a t infinite to zero is equal to one over s a. Next is the Laplace transforms. This is the formula for Laplace transforms. Here, for the, the function of t is equal to sine, the Laplace transform of sine t is equal to infinite to zero. Sine t is e raised to negative hmm, st dt infinite to zero, integral of infinite to zero, e raised to S T minus E raised to S T over 2J times E raised to negative S T D T. The integral of infinite to zero is equal to E raised to negative S J times S minus E raised to negative S plus J times plus J W S T over 2J D T is equal to 1 to J minus e raised to negative s minus j over t over s minus j w plus e raised to negative s plus j w t s plus j w is infinite to zero is equals to w s t plus w squared. This is the deriv 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 derivation of sine Laplace transform. For impulse function an impulse function which has zero with with a total integral equal to c is a special case of impulse of laplace transform determined by taking the limit of continuation as tp to zero and applying le hospital's rule here you can see the solution y of s t raised to p tp to zero is equal to the limit of t to p t to t p to zero is c over t p one minus negative minus s t p over s. Limit of t p to zero is negative c negative s e negative s t p over s is equal to c. For the next line, derivative of function to apply Laplace transform to the solution of differential equation, the Laplace transform of derivatives must be evaluated. For example, here. The plus transform of d of t, dt is equals to integral of infinite to zero d of t dt e negative s t dt. The method can be extended to a derivative of an order by applying integration by parts several times to give this.
the integral by similar application of integration by parts the laplace transform of an integral of a function can be shown to be laplace transform t over c integral of t over zero f of t f of t prime dt prime is equals to integral of infinite to zero times in integral of t to zero f of t prime dt prime negative e raised to negative st dt is equals to infinite integral of infinite zero e negative st over s f of t dt plus integral to t to zero f of t dt e negative st over s infinite to t is equals to zero where the equals is one over s f of s differential equation one of the main application of laplace transform is on the analytical solution of ordinary differential equation the aspect of laplace transform in this application is demonstrated in equation 4.30 which shows that the laplace transform of the derivative is an algebraic term plus a differential equation is transformed into algebraic equation which can be easily solved using the rules of algebra the challenge is to determine the inverse laplace transform to achieve an analytic, analytical solution in the time domain in some cases determining the inverse transform can be complex or impossible however methods shown in this section provides a general approach for many systems of interest in process control here the example of differential equation. Ordinary differential equation definition. A differential equation is an equation containing an unknown function and its derivatives. Equations which are supposed an unknown function and its derivatives are called differential equation. Example is dy over dx is equal to 2x plus 3. The second derivative of dy over dx plus 3 dy over dx plus ay is equal to 0. The derivative of dx dy over dx plus dy over dx raised to 4 plus 6y is equal to 3. y is the independent variable of x is the independent variable and these are ordinary differential equations next is the time translation of dead time the laplace transform for a dead time of zero units of time is salts rule here's the here is the example how to get the dead time. When changing variables from it negative 9 to t, the lower bound of the internal remain at 0 did not change to t minus 9 because the function is defined parallel is equal to of or f greater than of or the Laplace transform the Expression in this equation 4.31 is used to often in process modeling to represent the behavior in which the output variable does not respond immediately to a change of in the input variable. This condition is often to as dead time. Final value theorem. The final condition of the transient can be determined by applying the Expression for the derivative of a function equation 4.11 and 4.12 and taking the limit as s is to 0. Here we, you can see that limit of, s to, limit of s to 0 is integral of infinite to 0. Dft over dt is e raised to negative s t dt is equal to the limit of s to 0 s of f s minus f of t is t is equal to 0. Changing the order of the limit and the integral gives integral of infinite to zero div ft dt dt is equals to limit of s to zero s of s f of s is minus f of t t is equals to zero f of infinity minus f of t t is equals to zero is equals to limit of s to zero s of s minus f of t f of infinite is equal to limit of s to zero f of s of s. The initial value of the variable can be determined using the initial value theorem. The de derivation begins in the same manner as the final value theorem, except the limit is taken as s 
to zero, CO, again, the order of the limit and the integration is changed, resulting in the following equation. F of t, p is equals to zero, is equals to limit of s to, in t, to infinity s of s. Partial fractions. The Laplace transform method for solving a differential equation could be limited by the entries in table 4.1 and with so and few entries it would seem that most model could not be solved however many complex laplace transform can be expressed as a linear combination of a few simple transform through the use of partial fraction function what's the laplace transform can be expressed as a sum of simpler elements which can be inverted individually using the entries in the table 4.1 thus greatly increase the number of equation that can be solved more Importantly, the application of partial function provides very useful generalization about the solution to a wide range of differential equation models. Input and output of the transfer function, a very common manner for present and presenting input-output models which finds considerable application in the process control, is the transfer function. The transfer function is a model based on Laplace transform with a special assumption as follows. The transfer function of a system is defined as the Laplace transform of the output variable yt divided by the Laplace transform of the input variable xt with all initial conditions equal to zero. Transfer function of g of s is y of s x s. Next is the block diagram. The block diagram provides the method for combining individual transfer function into an overall of transfer function. The three allowable manipulation in a block diagram are shown in figure 0.5 through C, the first is the transform of the input variable to an output variable using the transfer function is, is just schematic presentation of the relationship in, introduced in equation 4.5 and discussed in the previous section. The second is the sum or difference of two variables. The third is a variable for use in more than one relationship, this three manipulation can be used in any sequence of for combining individual models, a comprehensive set. Here you can see that in C, the in first figure is allowed, then the second figure is not allowed. This for figure 4.5 is the summary about block diagram of algebra A to C allowed and D to F not allowed.